Hi, future scientists. I am Adam. Today, we are diving into Newton's second law of motion. It is a key principle in physics that helps us understand how forces are connected to motion. What is acceleration? In this example, the ball speeds up, slows down, and changes direction. In other words, the ball changes its velocity through a period of time. This change in velocity over a period of time is acceleration. So acceleration A equals delta V over delta T, where delta V is the change in velocity and delta T is a time interval during which the velocity changes. Acceleration and net force, second law, part one. Isaac is playing tennis. When he applies 500 newtons of net force, the tennis ball accelerates much more than when he hits it with a 50 newton net force. Newton's second law tells us that the acceleration of a system is directly proportional to the net force applied to it. The more net force we apply, the greater is the acceleration. The less the net force we apply, the smaller the acceleration. Acceleration and mass. Second law, part two. Ion applies a net force of 300 newtons to a tennis ball, causing it to accelerate quickly. However, when she applies the same 300 newton force to a bowling ball, the acceleration is much smaller. This is because the bowling ball has a much greater mass, meaning it has more inertia, which resists changes in motion, making it harder to accelerate. So acceleration is inversely proportional to mass. Newton's second law combining parts one and two. A equals net force over mass, which can also be written as net force equals mass times acceleration. With this formula, we can calculate the net force, the mass or the acceleration of an object as long as we know two of the three variables. Questions. Question one, Isaac pulls a desk rightward with a 500 Newton force. Albert pulls a desk leftward with a force of 200 Newtons. What is the acceleration of the 50 kilogram desk? The net force equals plus 500 Newtons plus negative 200 Newtons, which equals plus 300 Newtons. A equals sigma F over M, which equals plus 300 newtons divided by 50 kilogram, which equals plus six meter per second per second. Ion pushes a box with a 60 newton force. The friction force acting against the box is 20 newtons. First, find the support or the normal force of the box if its weight is 50 newtons. The normal force F normal is equal to the weight of the box. So, the F normal equals 50 newtons. Now let's find the mass of the box. The weight of the box is given as 50 newtons. Weight is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity, which is 10 meter per second per second. So mass equals weight divided by acceleration due to gravity. So that equals 50 newtons divided by 10 meter per second per second and that equals five kilograms. Now let's find the box's acceleration. To find the acceleration, we use Newton's second law. So A equals net force over mass. Net force here equals 60 Newtons minus 20 Newtons, which equals 40 Newtons positive. A is equal to plus 40 Newtons divided by five kilogram, which equals plus eight meter per second per second. Question three. A 0.06 kilogram tennis ball at rest is hit by a racket. The tennis ball leaves the racket at a speed of 50 meters per second. The racket is in contact with the ball for 0.025 seconds. What is the net force exerted by the racket on the ball? To find the net force exerted by the racket on the tennis ball, we can use Newton's second law. So net force equals mass times acceleration. We know the mass, but we need to calculate the acceleration. We can find acceleration using the formula A equals delta V over delta T. 
and here the change in velocity delta v equals 50 meter per second minus 0 meter per second which is 50 meter per second so a is equal to 50 meter per second divided by 0 0.025 seconds which equals 2000 meter per second per second next we calculate the net force so net force equals mass times acceleration and that equals 0 0.06 kilogram times 2000 meter per second per second which equals 120 newtons question four mole who's an astronaut of mass 65 kilograms experiences a net force of 35 newtons from her jetpack after three seconds what is her change in velocity so a is equal to net force over mass and here the net force is 35 newtons and the mass is 65 kilograms so acceleration is equal to 35 newtons divided by 65 kilogram which equals 0 0.54 meter per second per second to find the change in velocity we know that delta v equals acceleration times time so delta v equals 0.54 meter per second per second times three seconds which equals 1.62 meter per second question five a rocket engine exerts a net force of 50,000 newtons and the rocket accelerates at 25 meter per second per second what is the mass of the rocket rearranging newton's second law equation we get mass equals net force divided by acceleration which equals 50,000 newtons divided by 25 meter per second per second and that equals 2,000 kilograms. There you have it, Newton's second law of motion. Please subscribe, like, and share for more fun science. Happy learning. Thank you.